Where do we get Christmas from? From the Bible or paganism? Here are some astonishing facts which may shock you. Do you know the origins of the Christmas tree? Of Santa Claus? Does Christmas really celebrate the birthday of Jesus? Was he really born on December 25th? Did Paul, the Apostles, and the early Christian church of the New Testament celebrate Christmas? Do you know what the Bible says about the Christmas tree? Very few know why we do the things that we do, or where our customs come from. We were born into a world full of customs. Look at what Jeremiah the prophet says. It warns you not to follow the way of the heathens. For the heathens go into the forest, and they cut down a tree, and they fasten it down, and they deck it with silver and gold. Ain't that what you do? Santa Claus knocked Jesus out of the top spot, and the merchants who don't even believe in Jesus are busy selling you foolishness, making themselves rich, and you poor for another year, on the basis of a lie. And that's why they call it Xmas, because you don't know who it is that you are worshipping. Nimrod is who you're really celebrating on the 25th day of December. You're not celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. And if you are, you're making a mockery of it. The real origin of Christmas goes back to ancient Babylon. The name Nimrod is Hebrew and derives from Marad, meaning he rebelled. December 25th was the birthday of Nimrod. They celebrated this famous birthday over most of the known world for centuries, before the birth of Jesus. December 25th was highly honored and recognized by Nimrod supporters. Many centuries later, it was Christianized as being the birthday of Jesus Christ. Nimrod was the founder of a religious system that began in ancient Babylon and has always opposed God. The Bible states that Nimrod was a mighty hunter before the Lord and began to be mighty in the earth. Biblical traditions associating Nimrod with the Tower of Babel led to his reputation as a king who was rebellious against God. This heaven-defying group of people wanted one government to rule the world and one religion to sway the hearts of mankind. This was their attempt to defy God and his authority, and the ringleader of this scheme was Nimrod. Nimrod had a plan to weld together and strengthen this evil religious system, and so he married his own mother, who was Semiramis. She was the first deified queen of Babylon, and Nimrod was the first deified king. Semiramis was known to be as wicked as her son, Nimrod. Incest was used here as a basis to unite this newly false religious system. This false system had a sacrificial plan just as God had a plan of sacrifice. But pagan worship required the offering of human beings, which was often the sons and daughters of the worshippers. A counterfeit holy day was instituted in honor of the sun god, Sunday. After Nimrod's death, his so-called mother-wife, Semiramis, propagated the doctrine of the survival of Nimrod as a spirit being. She claimed the full-grown evergreen tree sprang overnight from a dead tree stump, which symbolized the springing forth unto new life of the dead Nimrod. On each anniversary of his birth, she claimed Nimrod would visit the evergreen tree and leave gifts upon it. Traditionally, a Yule log was burned in the fireplace on Christmas Eve, and during the night, as the log's embers died, there appeared in the room, as if by magic, a Christmas tree surrounded by gifts. The Yule log represented the sun god Nimrod, and the Christmas tree represented himself, resurrected as his own son Tammuz. So our Christmas tree and our Yule log have tremendous meaning. The Yule log is the dead Nimrod, human ruler of ancient Babylon, who was eventually deified as the sun incarnate, and hence a god. The Christmas tree is the mystical Tammuz, the slain god come to life again. This is the true origin of the Christmas character we all know as Santa Claus, who brings gifts underneath the evergreen tree every year on December 25th, which is very similar to the ruler Nimrod and his son Tammuz. Nimrod, the sun god reborn. December 25th was the birthday of Nimrod, and here we have the real origin of the Christmas tree.
He who controls the past controls the future. So much of this world is backwards and inverted. Who is responsible for all of this? And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole earth. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from the heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key to the bottomless pit. It's time we face the facts. This world is deceived, just as God prophesied it would be. It seems like this story has been told throughout our history with many different players and many different associated religions. Nimrod's church had its beginning at Babylon with the construction of the Tower of Babel on the plain of Shinar by the river Euphrates many generations after the deluge. At the time of the construction of Babylon, at the Tower of Babel, mankind had multiplied and spoken one language. Cush, who was the son of Ham and grandson of Noah, helped to plan with his son Nimrod, a blueprint by which to rule the world of humanity through a wicked counterfeit religion. Nimrod was the originator of sun worship and founder of Babylon. A Bible translation says, Nimrod became a mighty man of sin, a murderer of innocent men, and a rebel before the Lord. The beginning of Nimrod's plan had its origin at Babel, which was later known as Babylon. This city of Babylon, with the tower whose top may reach unto heaven, was built by Nimrod. They called the Tower of Babel the Gate to Heaven. But God called it Babel Confusion, for their God confused the language of the people, which forced them to scatter. Although all these Christian traditions have their roots in Babylonian mystery religion, it does not mean all these traditions are bad, such as giving gifts to one another and spending time with family and the ones you love. These are things that make us feel good, and I'm sure most of us do not have bad intentions come Christmas Day.